Hey folks, this is Bob Bowden, the founder of Vitafair, with a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can upload and monetize, which means make money from, your film and video. You know, I realize these days when I want to learn something, I generally don't look for a giant block of text to read about it or an owner's manual or something. Usually I look for a video that will show me how to do that thing. And so we decided we would offer the same kind of video tutorial to you, the Vitafair customer. You know, the other good news is it's really easy to upload and monetize film and video on the Vitafair platform. And so let's get started. So this is the Vitafair website. You would just type in these eight letters, V-I-D-A-F-A-I-R, followed by a .com into your browser. And this is what appears. The first step in monetizing a film or video is kind of an optional one. We would just suggest you go into our menu here, which is this, some call it a hamburger, but these three horizontal lines. If you click that, the pop-up menu appears. And you'd come down to About Monetizing Videos. And there you would watch our uh, video called Earnings Calculator Tutorial. That's just a suggestion that you do as a first step to learn a lot more about the Vitafair platform. Anytime you want to go back to the homepage, by the way, you can click this main Vitafair logo, and there we are. So, now the first formal step would be to create an account. You would do that by clicking the Sign In button on the top right, and when you do that, this pop-up appears. And we have some options here. You can sign in either with your Apple or Google credentials. When you use the Apple and Google methods, by the way, we, uh, this is using their own credentialing system. So we actually never see the passwords, that kind of thing. Or if you want to just create a unique uh, email and password with uh, the Vitafair platform, you would just click this third item here, except instead of sign in, you'd go to this bottom area that says register. So when you click that, it says register account and then you would enter this information here. And I'm just going to do it to create an account. Next it says the user or studio display name. This is basically just your handle of how you would want to be identified on the Vitafair platform. It could be the name of a distributor or a studio or just your own name if you're a director or content creator or influencer, etc. So I'm just going to put Bob Bowden, my name. Country, it's pretty easy to uh, understand what that means. Once you do select country, then it asks you to put in a street address. Incidentally, we only need street address from the users who upload content so that we can pay them. After you enter your address, you'll just hit the register button, and then you'll see the screen pop up saying sending email, and you follow the, the normal procedure where you receive a link in your email inbox, and then you click the link to confirm your account information, etc. And then you can come back to vitafair.com and log in. Once you're signed in with your new credentials, it looks like this. Uh, you have a sort of silhouette looking photo up here. And th this is where our grain token count is. But if the balance is zero, it just says buy. Uh, so first, just quickly to show you, if you use the uh, hamburger here, the three horizontal lines to open this menu, come down to profile. You can click on that and you can there, uh, well, first, if you want, you can upload a photo, which is fun, right there, and it's got my name. Uh, next thing, if you are going to monetize uh, your film or video, we need a way to pay you, and so PayPal is the way that we do that. You would need to create a PayPal account separately, and you would base that account on an email address. So you enter your PayPal email address uh, twice to make sure it's done correctly. And you might wonder why it's asking for street address again. Two reasons. One, since we don't require a, an address from users who only rent content. You'll notice I didn't enter one for this test account. Uh, we do need a way for someone to come back later and add their address if they decide, oh, maybe I do want to monetize content after all. And number two, the profile page is how you would update your street address if you move. The About Me box is optional, of course, but it is a good chance to tell people about yourself, your work, maybe your dog or cat's names, anything else. Remember, even if you do mostly market your videos to your own social media followers who know you, there are other potential renters who may find you organically here on the Vitafair website or app, and they may not be familiar with your work. When you are done, remember to hit Update Changes, and you can always use the Vitafair logo on the top left to get back to the home page. And now, look at that. We see the glorious photo appearing right there. 
So now let's get to the part of uploading video. We go back to the hamburger icon, we cr create this pop-up, and we come to Content Creator. We click that here. You'll see there are three tabs. There's Create, Videos, and Cash Out. Videos is where you'd go to look at any existing videos that have already been uploaded in the past. As you can see, this is a brand new account, so there's none there. Cash Out is how you take money out uh, once you have at least 2,000 grain tokens, which is the equivalent of $20. But at any rate, what we're doing right now is the Create button. This is what you do when you want to upload a new video. So it indicates that the upload fee is 100 grains, which equates to a dollar. Uh, but you see we have no grain balance right now, otherwise that would show up in this top right corner. But we can just try it anyway. We click 100 grains, it says initiate an upload for 100 grains, and we say yes, we confirm that right there. We get this error message saying insufficient grains. So if we X out of that and cancel out of that, we understand the problem is we need at least 100 grains to do the upload. So what you can do here is click buy and you get grain plans here for $6 or $11 or a $20 a package, which is kind of the normal one. That's where the grain equals a penny each. Or this, well, this one for $96 is really for if you want to sponsor someone else's video and we offer a discount instead of charging $100 you get $100 of sponsorship for $95.99. But at any rate, right now we just need 100 grains to do an upload. So you see you can buy 500 grains for $5.99. And so we can do that. We can just hit select. Uh, all of our grain packages are basically the charge never repeats. Understand, these are not subscriptions at all. These are all one-time purchases. So we have the option here to pay $5.99. We can hit buy now and then we enter credit card information or bank account information. So you'll see here I entered some credit card information. I can hit submit right now. So now we get to this page where it's time to drop file or click to browse for video source. So the first thing we do is we bring in the actual file we are looking, the actual video file we are looking to monetize. In this case, it is the uh, Mo the dog, as you can see there, there's Mo. This is my 16 and a half roughly minute which rounds up to 17 minute video of Mo, as you can see, having fun fishing. It's um, basically Mo fishing. So dragging in Mo fishing as a file, you can see it lands and opens up this page. And you can see this green line moving across as it is being ingested. The, this is a 17 minute uh, video, and there it goes. Once the upload or the green line is done, you'll see it begins encoding the file with a blue line that starts moving across. Nevertheless, we can uh, begin by entering a title. I'm going to call it uh, Life Lessons from Mo. One of the things we require is a thumbnail for the video. So the choice is to use one of the auto-generated thumbnails here, or you can make your own, which I have done for the uh, Life Lessons from Mo video. I've dragged in this here Mo fishing thumbnail image. Generally, a 16 by 9 aspect ratio or a normal video shape is what would be used here. Uh, this also, this uh, should be less than one meg in size, the thumbnail. But uh, there it is. So there's the th thumbnail that we created. You'll see a uh, charming title that I gave. So that's our thumbnail. Now this is optional, the trailer. We certainly recommend that everyone give some kind of video sample or video trailer because it would certainly make, well, I don't know about you, it would make me more likely to rent something if I could see some kind of sample of what it is, unless I knew about it in advance. So I created a 15 second uh, video clip called the Mo Fishing Trailer, which I'm gonna just drag in here and let this go. You can see here it uploads and Upload moving across, and there it is, voila, there is our Mo uh, Life Lessons from Mo trailer. Well, the description is pretty self-explanatory. I think uh, we'll put in Life Lessons from Mo, the Philosopher Dog. Okay, tags also, most people understand this is, helps you search, helps other people rather, search for your video if they're looking for a certain kind of video. We'll put here maybe dogs and fishing and fun and funny. Same kind of thing you would enter on a YouTube upload. Uh, now we get, however, to this part, creator fee parental. This is really the reason we're doing this entire tutorial is to step people through how to enter this. 
So this quite simply is how much money you want to make each time someone rents your video. And it gets added to our platform fee, which is based simply on the duration of the video to create the retail price. But it's a way, part of this uh, tutorial is to show you how when you select different creator fees to show you how it affects the retail pricing. So for example, if I open up this drop down, uh, you can see here I can pick 45 cents per rental that I want to earn, or $1.25 or $2, etc. And our grain tokens, if you haven't seen elsewhere in the platform, they're like pennies. So in the US, US pennies or cents. So 45 cents means 45 grain tokens, $1.25 means 125, etc. So if I select, for example, 45 cents per rental, you'll see it gets added to the 26 grain token or 26 cent platform fee to create a price of 71 grains for people that buy our, our grain tokens, or if they just purely rent a la carte, they pay 99 cents. So that's how this works. Meanwhile, if you move this up and pick $1.25 as your creator fee, you see now it's $1.51 as the price for those who rent via our grain tokens and $1.99 for those who rent a la carte. If you want to make $2 per rental, that's 200 grains gets added to the 26 grain a platform fee to be $2.26 for those who buy our grain token packages or $2.99 for those who rent a la carte. So when you're thinking about this, keep in mind the duration of the video, for example, usually something short form that's under 30 minutes. You probably want to pick the first or second item on here so it doesn't seem too expensive and doesn't feel to the potential renter like it's more money than makes sense for something short form. But the whole reason we offer these options is because we don't know your content, we don't know how much time you put into it, how much money you put into it, how many social media followers you have that you'll be promoting this to, or, or whether you'll be advertising it. There's all kinds of factors we can't know about your particular film or video. And so we basically let you select your own creator fee and show you how that affects the price and let you decide what makes the most sense. Now moving on, moving on here, coupon code is optional. This is uh, really similar to uh, any other kind of coupon code you'd see online. But for example, if my creator fee is set as $1.25 here, or 125 grains, what that shows you is I have, I'm giving away my own creator fee with the coupon code. So again, I don't have to enter any coupon code at all. But if I do, let's say I put in a code of 50 grains, which equates to 50 cents off, I would then need to enter an actual code. Let's say it's Mo is great is the code. And we show you here on the right how much you would be making each time someone rents with the coupon code. In other words, as contrasted by the $1.25 that you'd be making each time they rent without your coupon code, you'd be making 75 cents for those who rent with your coupon code. It's just basically this number subtracted from the creator fee that you set. So I hope that's clear. But then again, if you want to backspace over this and you get an error, but then if you backspace over this also and you get out of this, you don't have to give it any coupon code at all. But we'll just leave it here because it's fun. And you could be able to tell your social media followers by entering this coupon code you created, they could get a discount. Creator display name is also optional here, but it's for the case where when the entity that created the Vitifair account doing the monetizing is different from the artists of the film or the music video. So, for example, if you had a record company and they created a Vitifair account, it wouldn't make a lot of sense to people looking at our platform to see the title. You've entered the title for the upload right here but then under the title to see the name of the record company or the name of the film distributor. In that kind of case, you would put an artist's name here and or the director of the film. So I would say like if it's the singer for a music video, I would enter the singer's name here. If it's uh, a film and I would enter, you know, Director Johnson or whatever here. Uh, it's a way if the person creating the account or the entity creating the Vitifair account is different from the creator of the work. That gives you an option here to make a display name that is specific to this work. And category is also pretty self-explanatory. Just a couple notes. This changes over time. We keep adding categories uh, all the time. So this may be a different list than whatever you see now at the time you're doing this. And also in the case with film and probably others too, we'll have subcategories available. So uh, both have other, by the way, you could say film other, or you could say just category other. Uh, as well as a category like a podcast or something else. Um, again, uh, just to let you know, film and comedy, for example, 
is a funny film. Unlike if you just came and entered comedy as the category, this would be more likely to be maybe stand-up comedy or skits, that kind of thing. Uh, at any rate, I think for the Mo Fishing video, um, I think we're just going to call this lifestyle. <laughs> How about that? And then once we're done with these, oh, one other just note here, there usually wouldn't be much reason to disable like. This allows viewers to click like, and it helps with the algorithm if you let them do that. But as the creator, we put it in your control and also active you could come here at any time and make this same video inactive for whatever reason you wanted as well as edit any of this information you could come here anytime but um, design for kids also self-explanatory here and separately you could come and uh, delete the video anytime you want as well so at Vitafair we're basically an artist created platform with as we like to say fairness in our name and so we give the control completely up to you. You set your own creator fee per rental. You make it inactive anytime you want. Uh, there are no subscriptions to anyone, you or any viewer. And you can also delete a video anytime you want. At any rate, so now we're done. We've created this coupon code. We've created the pricing. And now we just click Create Video. And we're off and running. Once you've hit Create Video, and by the way, we note here that new video uploads take a few minutes to process. Anytime you want, you can come back to this drop-down menu if you're logged in, and you'll see a Content Creator button. Uh, doesn't appear, by the way, if you're not logged in. But you come to the Content Creator section and come to this middle tab called Videos, and you can see a complete list of the videos you've uploaded, whether they are active or inactive. Of course, you can hit Edit to change any of that information we just entered. But you can also hit View, and that is taking us here. This is what it looks like to someone who has rented already rented your video because we're not we don't ask you to rent your own uploaded video you can see here it says rented on the right side and so well just for fun you can hit play and you can see what it looks like and there's the beginning of our beautiful mo fishing expedition now if you want to send this link to someone or advertise it uh, or post it on social media you can just hit this uh, little chain link item here and it says link copy to clipboard and now you can send that video link far and wide for people to rent your content. Uh, also if you want to send your whole channel to someone you can click whatever either either the channel name that appears here or if you used a creator display name same thing you could click the same uh, text right there and it would take you to the channel for which that video was posted and now if you click this link it does copy this to the clipboard meaning you can decide whether to send or advertise or social media post your entire channel link versus a particular video link that's up to you uh, one other thing too this uh, as i mentioned this shows you what it looks like for someone who's already rented your content and of course they can play it and they could make it full screen etc uh, on the iPhone and Android apps, too, they can send it to their flat screen TVs using what's called Apple AirPlay or Google Chromecast. Uh, but also wanted to show you, too, what it looks like for those who have not rented your content. And that's pretty easy to do. You can actually just click the link here so it copies it to the clipboard and then log out. All you got to do is come here, click log out, paste in the URL, and it brings you to this page, which is has the rent button, etc. In fact, if you hit this play button, then you'll see just the trailer or sample clip. And there it plays for free to anyone who wants to see. In fact, that dramatic crescendo moment of Mo leaping forward in a potential fish catching triumph, you can see there. It also indicates for someone who's not logged in how easy it is to just click rent. And you see this pop-up saying they can just pay a one-time charge of 99 cents, or if they want a discount, they can use the grain plans shown here. So this basically shows you what a brand new visitor would see if they followed your URL link to that video. By the way, if you ever have any questions for us, please reach out and don't be shy. You can come to this uh, top left hamburger, as we call it, get to the drop down menu and come down to this item called Contact Us. You click there and it gives you the information and the email address you can use to send us a question. We love getting feedback as well as questions from customers. It helps us sharpen both our platform in general and also our messaging or our tutorial information about how we explain our platform. And all that said, welcome. Welcome to the Vitafair video monetization platform where we don't try to trick you with subscriptions that you don't need or subscriptions where you forget to unsubscribe. And in addition, we let you set your own fee and we let you be in control. So that said, Happy monetizing.